Oh, hi friends. Have you ever been angry with someone in your family? <sighs> Me too. My sister and I got into a fight over a game. And now I feel kind of angry about it. Whee! <sighs> oh, hey Shine. Hi Marty. Hi friends. Marty, did you just say you're feeling angry with your sister? Yeah, my sister and I got into a fight. I'm sorry that happened. Thanks, Shine. Even though I feel angry, I think I should love my sister. That's why I'm trying to find the answer to this question. How can I love my family? Why don't we go on a Bible adventure to find the answer? That's a great idea. Friends, shake your hands high in the sky if you'll go with me. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Friends, pretend to put on your adventure bags. I've got mine right here. Shine, could you help me find some picture passes? Of course. Let's take a look. Friends, you and I will be picture pass guessers together. Here's your first clue. This is a photo that shows who is in your family. Friends, which one is it? You got it, friends. It's the family picture. You know, Shine, my family looks different from the one in that family picture. That's okay. Every family is special just the way it is. <gasps> That's amazing. Friends, catch it in your adventure bag. <sighs> All right, Shine, what's the next clue? This is something you play with your friends and family. Friends, which picture pass do you think it is? You're right, it's the game. Games are so much fun to play. Catch it in your adventure bag. Now for your last clue. Use this to wipe your eyes if you cry. Friends, which picture pass is Shine talking about? You got it! It's the box of tissues. Catch it in your adventure bag. <sighs> Friends, let's count together. Hmm. One, two, three. They're all here. Now, let's zip our adventure bag together. Now, now it's, it's time, time to, to fly! fly. <laughs> Woo! Whoa! <laughs> okay, Shine, how can a family picture, a game, and a box of tissues help me figure out the answer to the question, how can I love my family? I'm glad you asked. Let's look in the Bible first. When you have a question, the Bible is a great place to start. <laughs> That's right! The Bible is God's book for you. You can trust it's right and true. <gasps> Wherever you go, this is a story from the book of Ruth. It's about showing love to your family. I can't wait to learn more about it. Come on, friends, let's watch. A famine came to Israel. Elimelech, Naomi, and their sons went to Moab to find food. Elimelech died. The sons married Moabite women, Orpah and Ruth. Then the sons died too. The three women had no husbands. When the famine in Israel was over, Naomi decided to go home. Stay in Moab, she said to her daughters-in-law. It's your home. Orpah stayed, but Ruth said, Wherever you go, I will go. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. Together, Ruth and Naomi went back to Israel. It was harvest time in Israel. Naomi told Ruth to gather the bits of grain left behind in a field. The field belonged to Boaz, Elimelech's relative. Boaz approached Ruth. You were very kind to Naomi, Boaz said. Leaving home must have been hard. May God bless you. He gave Ruth food and told his workers to watch over her. 
Ruth told Naomi what happened. Naomi smiled. When someone dies, his closest relative cares for his family. That person is their kinsman redeemer. Boaz is our kinsman redeemer. Stay close to him. So Ruth stayed close to Boaz. He liked her more each day. Boaz bought Elimelech's land and took care of Naomi and Ruth. Then he asked Ruth to marry him. Ruth had a son called Obed. Obed's son was Jesse. Jesse's son was David. And David became Israel's greatest king. So God blessed Ruth just as Boaz had prayed. Ruth and Naomi loved each other a lot. Yeah, they were kind to each other when they were sad and when they were happy. Dollars and donuts, I think that might be the answer to my question. Really? So, how can I love my family? I can be kind. I can be kind. <laughs> Great job, Marty. I'm going to talk to Brit the Bible gal and see if she can help me be kind to my family. See you later, Shine. Yep. I'll catch up with you at your house. Bye! Bye, Shine! Friends, follow me! <gasps> hey, Britt! Hey, Marty! <laughs> Hi, friends! It's so good to see you all. What are you up to? I'm on a Bible adventure. We're trying to find the answer to the question, how can I love my family? Oh! Have you found the answer? Yep. Friends, say the answer with me. I can be kind. <laughs> Great job, friends. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out how to love my sister better. We got into a fight over a game. I bet I can help. What picture passes do you have in your adventure bag? Ooh, I'll show you. Friends, this is a photo that shows who is in your family. Way to go, friends! It's the family picture! <laughs> Great job! Hmm. How will the family picture help me to love my sister better? Well, God gave each of us a family. Everyone's family is different, but God wants the people in a family to care for each other and be kind. I want to be kind to my family, but it's hard when I'm angry. It is hard, but when we follow Jesus, God will help us be kind. Huh. Ooh, do you have a Bible verse that will help me too? Do I ever? Friends, wiggle your ears if you're ready to learn a verse with me. I'm wiggling my ears. Are you wiggling yours? Friends, listen to what God says in the Bible. Ephesians 4.32 Be kind, be kind, be kind to each other. Friends, repeat it with me. Ephesians 4.32 Ephesians 4.32 be kind, be kind, be kind. Be kind, be kind, be kind. To each other. To each other. Great job. <laughs> now let's say it all together. Ooh. Ephesians 4.32. 4, be kind, be kind, be kind. To each other. other. <laughs> Great job. That verse will help me be kind to my family. Thank you so much, Britt. <laughs> See you later. Bye, Marty. <laughs> Bye, friends! Come on! Pebble brain! Pebble brain! <laughs> what a pebble brain! Blinky? What's going on? What's so funny? Zinnia, you'll never believe it! I heard Mr. Stone call his brother... <laughs> a pebble brain! <laughs> pebble brain! Pebble brain! Yeah, well, my Uncle Aspen was supposed to visit me yesterday and forgot. He's such a cabbage. Oh, oh, my cousin never leaves me alone when she visits. She's like a naughty gnat. <laughs> Blinky? Blinky! Uh, what is it, Shine? Did you just call your cousin a naughty gnat? Yeah, and Zinnia's uncle is a cabbage, and Mr. Stone's brother is a... Blinky, it isn't kind to talk about your family like that. It's just a few names. Besides, 
They're the ones who are super de duper hard to love. That doesn't matter. You can take care of your family and be kind to them even when it isn't easy. Even when your cousin won't leave you alone? Even then, and you can always ask a trusted grown-up for help if your cousin feels like too much. Oh, man. Thanks, Shine. I do want to love my family. I'm going to pray about this. God, please help me love my family, even when it's hard. In Jesus' name, amen. That was great, Blinky. Now, let's go help Zinnia and Mr. Stone be kind to their family, too. Hi, friends. I'm so glad Brett helped us figure out what the family picture was all about. God gave you a family, and he wants the people in your family to care for each other and be kind. In the Bible, Ruth and Naomi were kind. When they were sad and when they were happy, they still showed love and care for each other. <laughs> that reminds me of the verse that Brett taught us. Friends, say it with me. Ephesians 4.32 Be kind, be kind, be kind to each other. <laughs> hey, that sounds like Mr. Music. I wonder if he knows any songs that can help us. Let's go ask. Oh, hi, Marty. Hi, friends. Hey, Mr. Music. Are you on another Bible adventure? We sure are. We already found the answer to this question. How can I love my family? I think I know the answer. Friends, say it with me. I can be kind. Great job. <laughs> Mr. Music, what's your family like? Everybody in my family loves different things. I love music. My brother loves art. My sister loves sports. When we see each other, we have so much fun together. That reminds me of one of our picture passes. Friends, which picture pass is something you play with your friends and family? Friends, you're right! It's the game! <laughs> I love to play games, but I got into a fight with my sister about a game. Should I still play games with her? Of course! Playing games is a great way to get better at helping each other, taking turns, and cheering for each other. I think that helping, taking turns, and cheering can help me get better at loving my family, too. You got it, Marty. <laughs> you know, I just finished a new song all about how to love your family. Do you want me to teach it to you? Of course. <laughs> Friends, clap your hands together if you'd like to sing a song with me. I'm clapping my hands. Are you clapping yours? Okay, friends, repeat after me. Friends, sing with me. Oh, God gave me. God gave me. A family. Family. So we can help. So we can help. And love each other. Love each other. And I am glad. I am glad. For when I'm mad. When I'm mad. Here's what God helps me to do. Be kind, be kind, all day and all night. God loves us to love our family. Be kind, be kind, all day and all night. God loves us to love our family. <laughs> Great job! <laughs> Repeat after me. When someone cries, someone cries, when they feel blue, they feel blue. I'll give them hugs, I'll give them hugs, and a tissue, and a tissue. I will be there, I will be there. Cause family cares, family cares. Here's what God helps me to do Be kind, be kind. All day and all night, God loves us to love our family. Be kind, be kind, all day and all night, God loves us to love. God loves us 
to love. God loves us to love our family. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. Great job, friends. <laughs> now, stand up on your feet to worship God with singing, music, and dancing. <laughs> child of God. Cheer me up when I am sad. You make me smile when I am mad. Every day you make me glad. I am a child of God. Father God, I am yours. Every day I will say, Father God, I am yours. I am a child of God. Cheer me up when Sad. You make me smile when I am mad Every day you make me glad I am a child of God You cheer me up when I am sad You make me smile when I am mad Every day you make me glad I am a child of God I am a child of God I am a child of God Hear that, friends? <gasps> there you are, Shine. <laughs> this has been a great Bible adventure. Hooray! Do you remember the answer to the question, how can I love my family? I sure do. Friends, say it with me. I can be kind. That's it. Great job. <laughs> and did Britt the Bible gal teach you a Bible verse? She sure did. Friends, let's say it for Shine. Ephesians 4.32 Be kind, be kind, be kind to each other. 
That's the perfect verse. Being kind to our family is one of the best ways we can love them. What did you find out about the picture passes? Ooh. The family picture reminds us that God gave each of us a family, and he wants the people in a family to care for each other and be kind. That's right. And did you know you have another family too? It's a lot bigger than the picture. Really? What do you mean? Everyone who trusts and follows Jesus is in God's family. That's so many people. There's no way they'd ever fit in one picture. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> the game picture pass reminds me that it's fun to love our family. Yeah, when you help, take turns, and cheer when good things happen, you learn to love your family better. What about the box of tissues, Shine? If someone in your family is angry or sad, you can still take care of them and love them. Oh, like I can say kind words to my sister if I'm angry, or give her a tissue if she's crying. You sure can. That is kind. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Shine. I think this will help me love my sister better. Happy to help. Now, why don't we pray for God to help our friends love their families better too? That's a great idea. Friends, bow your heads and close your eyes. We're gonna talk to God together. Dear God, please help all of us show love to our families and be kind to them. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. <laughs> all right, it's time to go. We'll see you next time for another Bible adventure. Bye, friends.